Hi hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add an external volume onto Crossover. So if you don't already know, Crossover is a method of running Windows games and applications on a Mac or Linux computer. If you haven't already installed Crossover, then please follow the link in the description. This will take you to my full Windows gaming tutorial on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using Crossover. So once you've installed Crossover and you've installed Steam, then you may want to add an external solid state drive. I have my external solid state drive attached here. It's called More and it's indicated with this orange icon in the top right hand corner of the screen and I've got my Steam client open and this is the crossover version of Steam it's the Windows version and you can tell because it has the minimize and maximize just like the normal Windows version of Steam does and what I want to be able to do is to add games from the library on my more solid state drive and the way to do that is you go into the Steam settings on the top left click on settings here then we click on downloads in the left column here and then click Steam library folders here we have the interface for adding a new Steam Library downloads folder. And what I'm gonna do is click plus here, and then we're gonna select the solid state drive. Now, if you notice, if you click on this drop down here, there's no option for clicking the more solid state drive. If I click Z here, then that's not working either. I can't see the solid state drive there. The trick is that we need to go to the Z volume, go to the volume section here and scroll down. Then we find the more solid state drive. This one is actually called more one, which I'm gonna expand. Then I'm gonna scroll down again, go into my macOS folder, crossover, Steam. And basically, if you have an existing Steam application folder, you can basically select this parent folder here and press select, and that will open the existing Steam library there. If you click on the bottom left, you can create a new folder where you can store all of your future Steam games on an external drive. So here, I'm just gonna relink my existing solid state drive, and I'm gonna click select here. This has picked up my existing solid state drive and a bunch of games on it. And it's already started to automatically download some updates. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.